There is and must be, of course, an ethical underpinning to economic growth. The UK is rightly recognized as the best country in applying the OECD's voluntary guidelines for multinational enterprises. We are setting the standard, there's no need to be shy about that, but we're working to raise the standards of others throughout the world. And finally, we're leading robust international action to tackle global economic challenges that affect our future well-being. In the recent clamor around the Eurozone and other political events, it would be easy but wrong to miss the clear message that we have radically to step up our action on low carbon before 2017 if we're to avoid global warming exceeding 2 degrees centigrade. The longer we leave it to take action, the more expensive it will get and the greater the risks to our prosperity. Moving to a low carbon economy is good for our energy security and it also offers commercial opportunities. So, I think you get the message of what we are about. It was one of my predecessors as Foreign Secretary a long time ago, Lord Palmerston, who said, it is the business of government to open and secure the road for the merchant. Now, he too lived in turbulent times, and today's challenges are vastly different from the ones that he faced. But we will try to live up uh, to that very good phrase. And I believe we've made a good start in doing so. We know there is more to do, but we're determined to make economic diplomacy as successful and as sustainable as its political counterpart. And that is good for Britain, it's good for business, it's good for our future. We are determined to carry it through to success, and we always welcome your views and advice on what we are doing. Thank you very much indeed. Mm.